Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you read in today's title, this is going to be an update on my puppy, Mr. Kiki right here. And yes, he is a male. I always have like comments saying that he's a female. And I think it's because of the name. And as I said, my daughter chose his name, um, but it's a male. So he, Kiki here is a toy Australian Shepherd. And I've had him for about two months. Um, so today's video is going to be kind of like a get ready with me. So we did, <laughs> we created this everyday makeup look. It's something really simple. Um, I know the lashes say otherwise, but honestly, it's very easy and simple process. So if you want to know how I got this, then keep on watching as well as watch for <laughs> the updates on Mr. Kiki himself. And so without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so to get started, um, I'll just tell you guys what I did my eyebrows with. So I did the precisely uh, my brown pencil, and this is in the shade four. And to carve them out, I did I used the Elf Hydro Hydrating Camo Concealer, and this is in medium beige. You guys, I love this concealer; it's like the best thing ever. Um, okay, so. Let's start off with my eyes. I'm going to do something really natural. Actually, that's just gone. Jump into the face. I already primed my face. I moisturized and I primed my face um, using what the e.l.f. Matte Oil Control. So it's this one. I love it. It's, I honestly feel like this is a dupe for the Smash, smash Box. Um, whatever this is. Primer. <laughs> this mass, Smash Box primer yeah that's literally what it feels like the silicone primer okay so i have that um so i have a little list of basically what i wanted to update you guys on um so hopefully i cover everything and i don't talk a lot um i'll try to show you guys as well what i'm using so here is this this is my wet and wild uh foundation and it's in desert beige guys i love this foundation i believe it's like five dollars and this is like my go-to foundation um so so okay let's go ahead and get started so kiki he is as i mentioned before he is a toy australian shepherd his parents are about are between um 10 to 14 pounds i believe his mom is 12 pounds and um his dad is a 14 or the mom is 10 i don't remember um but they are toy australian shepherds themselves um so kiki shouldn't be over the 14 pounds i'm hoping he's a bit smaller um right now he is currently four months old I got him, oh, I want to say, was it May 30th? Yeah, I got him May 30th. That's why I took off like a whole week in June, the beginning of June, so I could, you know, be with him and care for him. Um, so I've had him for two months now, and let me just tell you, it's been hard. Um, literally having a puppy is like having a newborn at your house. Like, it's just insane. Um, I was really, really tired the first couple of weeks um, it was literally like having a baby again so yeah so I'll just tell you guys how it went down how the four months went by so um the first week was actually pretty easy that the first night was so easy because when we got him he literally just I put him in his crate and he really didn't really want to like do much um he was just kind of just like watching me <laughs> and he wouldn't like he wouldn't cry he wouldn't bark he wouldn't do anything so um all he did was pretty much just sleep and i mean you know he had like they had to drive him like three hours and i met them like basically halfway so then when i picked him up and then it was like a long car ride again home so you know it was a long car ride so i i i'm sure he was tired um yeah so the first night literally he just slept through 
the, through the whole night. I believe he went to sleep like around 10, 11 ish, and he didn't wake up until like 5 30. Um, and he kind of just started kind of like barking, and I got up and I took him out, and then I we came back inside. <laughs> I actually came to like another like to this room where I do my makeup um, and I was so tired I just like like lay down on the floor and I just I was just gonna sleep in with him because he was kind of like wanting to play already um, so that was the first day and then throughout the day the same thing like I just kept him in his crate and I would take him out like every two to three hours just to take him out to use the restroom and then if he wasn't in the crate then I had um the leash attached to me the whole time that way I could see like if he was going to go to use the restroom or not um so for concealer I'm using the elf hydrating camel concealer as I mentioned before um oh and then this is the elf sponge and I love this this is like my favorite sponge ever so bouncy Anyways, back to Kiki. So yeah, like the first day, he was literally just in his crate. In his crate, he wasn't doing much. He wasn't very energetic. Um, I would just take him outside. I just took him outside. Like the first week, it was, that's literally how it went. It was just five in the morning. He would wake up, go to the restroom, and then I would just kind of just sit here in the morning. Um, with him in this room just because I didn't want him to be loud and stuff and wake everyone up in the house so I would just stay here with him and basically sleep on the floor with him and then um, after he would like get tired he would kind of just lay down next to me and then I would pick him up and take him back to his crate and then I would go back to sleep like around six or seven um, it just de just depended <laughs> what day it was so afterward um, let's see oh yeah so um that week i didn't really take him out much like yeah actually the first week i didn't take him out like it was literally just take him outside having go pee and do his business and then bringing him back inside um the second week i had to go back to work so the second week i it kind of got worse and i was so confused as to why because um, the second week he was waking up like at 2 in the morning and then he was like crying and crying and I was like ah. So I would wake up at 2 in the morning take him out and then put it back in his crate But then he would cry like the whole night if I wasn't next to him So I what I ended up doing was putting like a rocking chair right next to his crate And I was I was literally sleeping in that rocking chair um so I was just kind of like tapping on his crate, just like talking to him and he would finally like eventually go to sleep. And by the time that he did that, like I would pass out and then I would wake up like an hour later, like my neck go like, <laughs> um, and then I would go to sleep. But then he would get up again, like around, um, five in the morning and he would want to go out again. So then I would have to take him out again. So that was the second week and then the second week I actually started taking him out for little walks and he would literally just walk to like the corner and then it was literally like not far like it was I don't know yeah I don't know how far but um he was literally walking for like maybe two to three minutes that was it and then we would come back home um and same thing again and then I started working the second week so I actually had my brother I pay him every to come walk him every day and he comes at 11 and he takes him out on a walk at 11 and 3 o'clock um, and you know I just don't want him to like have accidents in his crate and that so um, that's why I do that and and yeah, so the second week I started doing that and then I started putting him like in his crate like at night. He goes to sleep like around um, 10, 11-ish. And sorry, I'm baking with the Becca translucent powder. This is like their um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder. You guys, when you guys put this on your face, it literally feels wet. It's so weird, um, but it's amazing. So recommend it. I got it in a boxy charm. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the second week. I think the second week was the hardest week. It was just like 
he did so well the first week that I was so confused as to why he was like not sleeping well anymore um, but I think it was the third and second week and then by the end of the third week it got better he got, like I just kind of tried to take him out later at night like around 11 11 30 to use the restroom and I found that he would actually go to sleep he would still wake up at night but I would have to get up and then just kind of tap on his crate and just tell him to you know go back to sleep and just sit there for a for a minute and he would um he would go back to sleep this is the pro concealer the LA girl pro concealer and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff it out with This is a boxy charm brush. That's what it looks like. Okay. Um, so that was my contour for bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Hula Benefit bronzer. And this is just another boxy charm. Oh, this is from Billion Dollar Brushes. It looks like this. It's pretty soft. And then it has like that angled brush. This I'm going to be using for bronzer. Um, Yeah, back to Kiki. So, yeah. That was pretty much it. Um, And now, he after like two months, he goes to sleep like around 10, 11. I put, like I take him out and then... um. I take him out and he, st he does pretty good. Sometimes like he's really sensitive to human food. So if he does eat like human food, he will wake up um, around like 2, 3 in the morning. And I literally open the door. He goes down the stairs and he does his business. And if he really like, you know, he pees. Um, but if he has to poop, then he runs to the backyard and he just poops and then comes back right in. Um, He's also like a scary cat, so if he hears like a weird noise, he will rush back in and go straight to his cage. So it's honestly gotten better um, at this point. It's still, you know, like having like a baby in the house. Um, I still have to be really careful with him, just always making sure like I know where he's at. Um, because if I'm not paying attention, he literally will get into like something, you know, um, like my husband's shoes and also works in a restaurant so his shoes like you know they have like food residue <laughs> on the bottom so kiki will normally like if he sees them um if i'm not paying attention he will start chewing his shoes which i've gotten in trouble for but um you know whatever <laughs> um so the next thing i have down is his biting omg oh my god he um was biting so much he still does but he it's definitely gotten better um he has bitten my daughter like like on the legs like two three times and like where she to the point where she like starts crying and you know that's like a little dent like she, he's never like bitten through her skin but because he's like trying to play around and she's normally like always wearing like a skirt or dresses um you know he wants to like grab onto the uh, to the dress to the to tooth part so i always like, at the beginning i was always like like nina sit on the couch don't move you know i try to like have her just sit on the couch and watch tv or like um or um yeah just always be like in the counter count like higher um Arriba para que for the dog not to like reach her and he wasn't able to like climb on the couches and now he does so yeah so you know I've had to smack his booty a couple hand a couple handful of times because you know he bit Nina but it's honestly getting better also he was like always like chewing onto my hand like and like at the beginning it didn't hurt it was just kind of like his teeth were pointy so I would just wear like a sleeve like a long sleeve or like my sweater and he, I would just like allow him to bite me but um I don't do that anymore because he's getting definitely he's getting bigger and he's getting stronger and he his bites right now um and the first set of toys that i showed you guys in the first haul those lasted like two months so i still recommend them because you know he plays with them every day and he like definitely like los trae mal but um i 
like they're dirty and they're starting to kind of like unsew so that some of the cotton inside is starting to like come out so i started throwing those away i've had to get him new ones um from ross now that ross is open i got him some from ross so yeah so that's how we're managing his biting just basically keeping him busy playing with his toys and when he's like really like anxious and he really just wants to buy something then i'll put his leash on and then i'll take him out for a walk or i'll take him for like a little jog and he normally that burns out his energy um and then another thing i have written down is his energy so at the beginning as i mentioned he really wasn't like energetic at all he would just go walk around like he could barely even make it around the block so um i would have to carry him like all the way home sometimes um and then my daughter she's three but she still loves like riding on the stroller so i would put her on the stroller and then put him on the little basket in the bottom and he would just chill there and he would be fine so um, that was like the first month and then now he's definitely getting more energy so he'll go around the whole he'll actually run the whole block now um i've taken him on walks like outside of the neighborhood and he's still very like like scared and you know definitely gets startled easily but it's probably because you know we're in it's like covid season and we don't really go out much i don't really take him out i can't take him out to the parks or anything you know um so yeah i've taken i've taken him out like to my mom's house a handful of times and they have a pomeranian and he's a bit older he's i think he's nine years old he's nine years old now and he doesn't like any other dogs he, he hates dogs um so Every time I take him, it's like he starts barking really bad at Kiki and Kiki gets startled. And then, like, actually the last time that I took him, he actually started barking back. So I was like, ooh, like, I don't want my dog to be that type of dog. So, you know, I try not to take him. Um, but sometimes I just do. He's pretty good with other dogs. I mean, there's a lot of dogs in our neighborhood. So when we do go out, we do meet up with other dogs. And he doesn't heal. He kind of like pulls forward to them because he wants to like sniff them and play around. Um, but at the same time, if they're like bigger dogs, then he kind of just stays by my side and he won't. He kind of gets scared. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the fact that my sister's dog is always like barking at him and like <laughs> yelling at him and stuff. But. I'm not yelling, but you know, barking. Um, so yeah, just take this for my ashes. I'm literally just gonna go with my blush. I'm gonna upload um, some pictures and some videos of him. I really don't get to rec like film him much. Like literally, I'm just so busy, and it's just handful of him and my daughter, and I'm just like. Oh, like i'm always running all over the place with them especially if i'm gonna take them out both like i just need to make sure that i have all my daughter's stuff i have to make sure that i have all of his stuff and it's just like you guys i swear it's literally like having another another dog um that's what i'm saying like if you're not ready for the oh, it's like having another dog so anyway it's like literally like having another kid so I'm, I'm serious if you're not ready for that if you're not ready for waking up early in the morning um if you're not ready for accidents then just don't don't get a puppy because it's hard um training has honestly been hard the only command that he does is sit and in spanish um he does deja he ven aquí. Ven aquí. He he understands and he will rush over to me. Um, deja basically let go when he has something and I you know I'm trying to take it away from him. He he'll do it most of the time. And sit. if I have something in my hand, he automatically sits because he wants it. Um, okay, for lashes I'm gonna be using these ones and they're from Queen Queen's Lash Lab. And this is what they look like, you guys. These lashes, I have the, I have them in the three different styles. But these lashes are everything. They are so fluffy and wispy and they're just like, oh, they're just perfect, honestly. 
Um, so let me just add some lash glue and then I'll put on some mascara. Do you guys see that? Okay, these are a bit exageradas for this look, honestly. <laughs> but they are so cute. everything about my dog i think so okay so i'm not gonna put on lipstick i'm literally just gonna put on a gloss um and then it's gonna be the wet and wild liquid cat suit high shine lipstick oh i guess it is a lipstick and it's in the shade send nudes and, and that is what it looks like so this is the final look, you guys. It's basically like my everyday look, except these lashes. I don't really wear them. Um, I see them like every single day. I try to wear something a little bit more subtle. <laughs> but these are the ones that I'm like loving right now. So I was like, eh, let me just wear them for today's video. So, okay, you guys. So this was, that was it for today's video. This is Kiki right here. Come on, Kiki. He was already sleeping, pobrecito, and I had to wake him up to bring him over here. He didn't even want to get out of his crate. So this is him right here. As I said, he is a toy Australian Shepherd. He's getting so big, you guys. Look at him. <sighs> He's getting so big. Um, he is such a sweetheart. Like, cuando quiere and then the other times, he's such an ass. Like, I just want to beat him up. <laughs> Um, clearly I can't you know that's like animal abuse but um, yeah so this is that was it for today's video if you guys liked it please don't forget to like the video give us a comment um, questions if you guys have any questions and if you haven't subscribed already then go ahead and subscribe um, if not I'll see you guys in the next video Besos. Oh, and before I finish the video, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my niece, Yuli, because she has literally been my number one fan, my number one supporter since I started the YouTube, which was literally like three years ago. I just have been so inconsistent with it, but she's always watching my videos. So shout out to Yuli. I love you, girl. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, <laughs> as I have to say. Um, so yeah. 